It's Appendix O, and the list is divided into five levels. No, we're good. No, we're um, good. Okay, I'll ignore the messages then when they pop up in my face. Um, so yes, yeah, you may or may not need to replace it. Usually on some kind of regular basis, maybe not every time. If it's an annual maintenance, you might not have to do it every time, but it's good to have them on hand for when you do need to replace them. Um, not just going to run to Walmart usually and grab whatever you need. Level three. Critical emergency repair. All kind of controllers, ELCs, network equipment, uh, temperature controllers, pumps, 
puncture in almost every level. Some kind of pump is generally in each level. Um, you can analyze the pumps that are supposed to be rebuilt once per year. You know, the sample pumps are as needed, but you're supposed to check it once a year, I think. Um, and it is always good to have an extra full pump assembly on hand in case when we rebuild it, it doesn't work. Um, this is, level three is kind of a, I don't know, there, I've not seen all that many TLCs fail. It, it, usually you're going to replace your system before the TLC actually stops working. There, there is an occasional one here and there that it, it, it could fail. I, it doesn't seem to happen all that often, and that's generally asked how much the entire stairs for that level cost. Um, so it's, I guess, it, I mean, it is always good to have whatever on hand should your not working, but it's kind of expensive. So there's a lot of stuff that might just sit there and then be obsolete before you're going to use. Don't shoot me anything. Level four, non-critical. I don't know, non-critical because you can still operate. Uh, doesn't take anything else down usually, but not good. And most of these, not so much the, the dryers, but gauges, um, the switches, flow meters, they're not usually terribly expensive and they, they don't get off fully. Well, they do, but not quite like um, anything that's so these are always good to have on hand. The total cost is not usually that much, and there's some cost at the end for an idea of what a typical anything is. Level five is the five year range. These are analysts and everything that costs a lot. But their life expectancy is usually up to five years. Some of them will last another time. Some of them will last even longer than that. But these are long lead time items. They require programming, they're specific to your site. They're definitely not sitting on anyone's shelf anywhere, just waiting to be needed somewhere. Um, so they are definitely recommended to have um, if they apply to your system. Um, the anything, the analyzers, OIC channels, all that stuff comes here first. So it gets programmed specifically for set up for your site so that it can, you know, get to you and when you need it, it's, it's ready to you. It doesn't require any other programming or setup. Um, you get sample lines, they generally have long lead times and they're not really much of an emergency response to one because the manufacturers just they, they take as long as they take to make them and they can be interchanged a bit but not usually especially because they're all different lengths and have different requirements and I, they are expensive because if you're sitting on a shelf somewhere but they don't go bad they don't shelf. And then here is the, um, it's, a, it's an average for the most part um, of, for each system. The system, I use that term somewhat loosely. Um, I'm only system that can cost a little bit more, they have extra stuff. But in general, this is what a typical um, spare parts cost. Look, I love it. <laughs> so you definitely want to have to love the women's shoes because consumable stuff you're going to need for maintenance. Not terribly expensive. Doesn't go bad when it's sitting on your shelf usually. Um, except for that would be uh, an emerald scrubber. It can't sit forever. I don't care. useful anymore. Um, 
for those who sort of have to buy it more on a regular basis to keep them current. Um, level three, those are all those controllers, um, CLCs. About half the cost are just the CLC. So, in this, you can take $13,000 off perhaps. Only if you gamble. If you don't, then you should just buy everything because you might need it and it's good to have. Um, again, the level four uh, stuff is not terribly expensive and just analyze it, obviously, at a police. And they go off sleep. Not, not off sleep, but it's Usually you can use them for as long as the parts available, but there are some that last a really long time. And our analyzer the patient's office is really good at repairing them. So when they get sent here, they, they send it back right away. Usually that all ready to go in no matter how old it is. I don't know how they do that, but they do. And they do a great job. So it, overall, it seems like a lot, but if it means that you can do all of your maintenance and not have to worry about parts, it, it should be budgeted for it in some different And then ordering of spare parts, if you buy them from Hot, you try to keep a um, certain level of all the, the generally recommended spares. For level one, two, and four. Um, in fact, we often will have one from level three and five just because we have a lot of stuff here. Um, if there was something that we tend to always use a certain part, but it was specified to use a different part, we usually don't stock those items unless that happens a lot, which I don't know that it ever has. But at that point, we would evaluate it and consider putting it in stock so that it's available when you need it. Um, and we have been really good lately about tipping when we have items in stock. If everything in your order is in stock, it usually will get the next day or the day after that. It's only when there is a special item or something that has to be specifically ordered, we usually will wait unless you mention that you need something right away and then and then the email address then um, request for quotes and CO2 is orders at CiscoSense.com or you can always call us. We can either tell you over the phone or send you a quote if you need it, uh, an actual quote. Um, and then there's always people here to talk to if you have questions. <coughs> That's the abbreviated version. Fair point. Don't imagine there's too many questions. Other questions? No. Okay. Not from us. Not very good. Well, then from who? <laughs> well, who else would they be from? Okay. Very good. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of the meeting.